I don't know about you guys, but this thing is a big, big touchstone of living in Southern Minnesota. This is on 169. It is the biggest candy store in Minnesota. And I've done some research on it and found out that Abraham Lincoln is indirectly responsible for it. Well, let me explain. Go back to 1862, a land grant act was signed. And it said that every state in the nation should have a agricultural school. Um, the U of M's Ag School is the successor to this act. The Ag School does lots of research on lots of different categories, but after World War II, it's this inhospitable land, which is so windy I couldn't even film outside of my car today. Um, this was the uh, subject for the U of M's Ag School. They wanted to find a crop that could grow in all seasons. They started looking into the apple, and the apple had already been had some research done about it. The Harrelson was developed by the U of M's Ab Ag School, but in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, we really increased production of these things. Around that time, the Wagner family, Jim Wagner, opened up an apple orchard, and they had a little shack on the side of the road here. And in my childhood, I remember seeing that little apple shack uh, and stopping by and trying all these different Macintosh apples, Harrelson, Golden, Golden Delicious, um, and the Minnesota State official apple, the Honeycrisp, which was invented here. Minnesota in 1991. The problem is that in the mid-2000s, three years of storms destroyed the crop for the Wagner family. And so Robert Wagner, Jim's son, decided they need needed a more shelf-stable product to be able to keep their business afloat. Their family business continues to run today, but now their primary focus isn't apples, which are very perishable, but candy from around the world. They painted it that bright yellow obnoxious color because hey, it gets your attention. Have you been here? Do you like it? Or do you long for the days of the old Apple store? Let me know what you think in the comments.